down in West London for going over to the other side, if you like. Finally, one night, the Sex Pistols showed up on the support slot. And that's just to see that go off in a pub. It was really shattering. That was why it was such an atom bomb, was it just blew all the other rubbish away. Because they didn't care whether you liked it or not. When you saw the pistols, <coughs> they didn't care whether people liked it or not. They were going to play it anyway, which was a great... That freed the music straight away. If you tried to explain to someone how you could pack everything in when you saw a group or a group would change your life, I don't know if it, in today's world, things have changed subtly. Punk rock definitely came out of a situation where there was nothing on the telly, nowhere to go, no shops to buy any gear in, nothing, zilch. So it, it was entertain yourself. And perhaps that's what gave it some kind of strength. I think the strength of the music is that any fool can play it. It's simple. It has low overheads, i.e. a drum kit and a couple of amps will, will make the scene. And it's fun. This is a big point. It's fun to play punk rock because it's very physical. It's, it's not like needling at a computer or, or sewing or something. It's very physical. You get the guitar and you bash the guitar and so... And the noise comes out. It's very direct. I, I, I love it for its moronicness. I'm all for moronic behavior. It's to the band.